Hi there viewers, welcome back to Drawing Stuff. Drawings by Paul Yateman. Today, a totally scripted video. Normally with the exception of the intro, these are ad-libbed. What works best do you think? Today I've flicked through one of my sketchbooks from 2013 and chosen a bit of futuristic technology in the way of a walker to flesh out. This could be a single man walker, a tank like object, maybe it's a robot, I don't know. The design is unlikely to be my own and it might be a direct copy of something I saw in a sci-fi and fantasy magazine called Imagine FX. I originally thought that the image probably came out of a book called Mechanica by Doug Chiang and that's a pretty good book by the way. Um, flicking through the book about three times find similar things but nothing like what you see here. So this supports my first idea that it probably came out of a magazine because I don't think I would have come up with something like this on my own. But who knows. Anyway, the important thing here is the process. You can see in the reference a lot of different images and the one I have chosen to draw today. As is typical, I started out with the main lines. This is a really simple design with pointy and smooth elements. I do the main shapes and then decide on framing box to make the image pop out of the paper. This is something I will probably carry through to my future drawings. Uh, this actual drawing here predates my Tim Burton Predator, link above, so you can see it works well there also. Once the pencil is done, I will go through and add the line art. Rather than the single weight that I've been doing for my recent drawings, I'm adding thickness to imply shadow and lighting and help the image stand out. So that's one of the reasons that box is there. I could also have assisted at this by adding some background shapes or colour. Currently I am using a fairly stark style so perhaps this could improve the image. Something for a future video slash drawing. As I've been doing these drawings, I was wondering how different things may have been if I'd got into YouTube in 2010 when I started my graphic design diploma, or even back in 1992 when I got my first scanner and computer. Not that webcams were much top or even a thing, and YouTube I'm pretty sure didn't exist until years later. But I digress. Finishing up the line art and then erasing the pencil. And once the line art is done, I'm going over the entire hero image with a light grey marker as that is to be my base. So that would be the, the highest value that your colour hits in the image. I then add colour like the blue for lights or are they design affectations? I don't know. Maybe they could be headlights. Shading weeks. I add darker greys to build up the shape of the walker and then add some brighter colours. With the colours I was thinking of Chris Foss type colours, though I did not go overboard with stripes or checks and I kept the colours to a muted orange yellow palette. So we'll see that in a bit. highlights with a white gel pen. And incidentally, this should be the last video I bothered to do using a webcam before I moved on to an SLR in webcam mode with the actual overhead mount. So things are getting snazzy here. So here we go through with the actual colouring. One thing I saw in another video is when the artist drew with markers, they left the cap uh, 
on the drawing surface so viewers could see the color. So I'm thinking of doing that in the future because I found that interesting slash helpful. So this brings us to the end of the video. Is five minutes the right length of time for these? How do you like it compared to the 10 minute versions or even the real time extended length? Let me know in the comments. So here's the final drawing scanned in. I think the line weight looks okay and the colors are not heinous. Should I have added a background? Let me know. Anyway, if you find this interesting, informative or entertaining or you got anything out of it, uh, subscribe, like and share and I'll see you next time.